Hello there, this is Mr. Un. Welcome to Physics. Chapter 1, Physical Quantities and Measurements. In the lesson 1 today, we will answer this very basic question of what is physics. But before we do that, I would like to go back a couple of slides to talk about what physics is all about. All right? Now, this physics that we are discussing in this video is based on the GCE, O-Levels Singapore Syllabus. So those of you who are listening in who um, may not be taking uh, the Cambridge-based exams, you may find that some of the materials may uh, be a little bit different, but don't worry about it. Uh, we are just going to talk about physics here in general at ordinary levels. Yeah. Now, chapter one of all physics uh, at secondary school level starts with this chapter called Physical Quantities and Measurements. Okay, And what is it all about? Okay, but before we start, let's have a look at the first question that we ask. What is actually physics? In many textbooks, it says that physics is actually a study of matter and energy. Matter and energy. And this matter and energy exists in many areas. Well, from as big as the galaxy to our planet Earth and to something as small as the atom itself. Now, the textbook itself will then continue to explain a little bit more about what matter is all about. And as you can see in this picture, matters are made out of these small tiny ball-like things which are used to represent atoms, so they are very tiny. And when these small tiny atoms are bonded together or joined together by this stuff which is used to represent forces, some special forces, this creates a mass or uh, this creates something which we call a molecule. Right? And this essentially makes up what matter is. And on the left, on the right hand side, I'm sorry, on the right hand side, this is a picture of a light bulb which is used to illustrate energy. And you can tell this is basically talking about light energy. So physics, most textbooks will try or attempt to explain that, hey, matters are made up of atoms and energy, example of that is light. And the relationship between these two basically is what physics is all about. Well, um, Many of us don't really get it even at this point. So let me tr try to help you understand what physics is all about at the ordinary level. Well, physics is about things that happens around us. Okay, And you may ask, hey, what are the things that happens around us? Well, these four pictures capture beautifully what physics is all about at our level. Okay, The very f uh, first one on the left hand side shows a cyclist on a bike. This is what we call general physics and it concerns about itself about the study of motion, about how things move, um, about uh, what causes a motion to, to occur, what causes things to speed up and slow down and co or come to a rest. And we also discuss the energy aspect of it like kinetic energy and potential energy. On the next picture, as you can see, is a flame and this is uh, what we call the thermal physics aspect. Okay, and in this area, we look at how heat is part of our life, how heat travels from one place to another, and to another. Heat is just another different term for thermal energy, and uh, how this heat affects things around us. For example, how heat actually melts a piece of ice, for example, or when water when it's placed into a freezer, what causes it to freeze. So all these are dealt with in under uh, under this area called thermal physics. On the pic third picture, is, uh, you can, as you can see, it's a, it's a sea waves. So it's a quite a big one at that. On, in this particular area, we call it the optics aspect of physics. Optics simply means the study of light, waves, and sound. Even as you're listening to this video right now, uh, the sound aspect of it, okay? How does the sound come to you? Uh, move into your ear and allow you to be able to listen to me and uh, you are able to look at this video that's the aspect of light we would like to study that as well okay and lastly well we can see a lightning across the sky so this simply suggests we uh, one branch of physics is the uh, concerns the electricity and magnetism as aspect of it okay so how electricity is used to power the fan Right, uh, in the um, how does it light up a room, and the effect of magnetism? Why is it that um, a piece of magnet is able to attract uh, a piece of iron? So all these are covered under electricity and magnetism. So I hope with that um, short uh, introduction, I have helped you to understand a little bit better about what you are expected to study at the ordinary level for physics, and uh, to move on. 
just a selection, uh, just to share a selection of physicists that has that uh, whom have made an impact in our life. And these are Galileo Galilei, Rene Descartes, Sir Isaac Newton, and Albert Einstein. I will not be covering this. Uh, feel free to read on on your own. And uh, that will basically bring us to the very last slide for this uh, lesson number one. The last slide itself will um, help to delineate or to outline the eight key concepts for this particular chapter number one. Okay, and uh, these eight key concepts concerns uh, physical quantities, SI units, the seven base physical quantities, SI units and symbols, prefixes, and we will then attempt to measure lengths with vernier caliper and micrometer, uh, dealing with zero error that exists in the vernier caliper and micrometer, measuring time with stopwatch, and finally, the concepts of period and frequency. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the first lesson, what physics is all about. Thank you for listening.